Hi, this is Megan Jacks, Creative Memories Independent Advisor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Jumbo Circle template with the binder clips in order to make a dinner plate. And the dinner plate that we're going to make is going to mimic the dinner plate that is in the Dine Border Punch from Creative Memories. So I realized when I was messing around with the binder clips, as I've shown you before how to use with your 12 inch trimmer, these binder clips also work inside the, um, the templates of the custom cutting system from Creative Memories. Now they won't work with every single um, of the templates. You have to make sure that the radius or the turning of the um, template allows for the straight edge of that binder clip to get in there. So on some of the smaller circles, that clip doesn't fit quite right, but for this jumbo circle, it's gonna fit great. And we're going to use these binder clips to create a start and a stop point, which is gonna give us that uniform arc that is iconic or is a signature feature of the dinner plate and really gives you that look of having the, you know, the lip of the plate versus the center of the plate. So um, from the all access group, you have the um, download that's available with the directions. And I do show you three options here. So we're going to start off with the first option, which is a half dinner plate. So what I've done here is I've already gone ahead and I've got some white cardstock that I have trimmed to five by 12. So it's 12 wide, five tall. And I'm gonna go ahead and line it up on my 13 by 13 mat. And I'm gonna line it up at the top. Excuse me, I grabbed the wrong side. I had the seven inch side. I needed the five inch side. So this is five by 12. I picked up the wrong piece after I trimmed it. Five by 12. I'm lining up here at the top edge. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and center my jumbo circle on my trimming mat. So I've got my center lines, or my I've marked my zero and 180 degrees. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my 90 degrees, which I'm lining up across the top. And the reason I'm using a five inch piece here is I could use a six, a six inch piece to make a true half plate. But for the layout I show you, I wanted to give you that option to make a little bit more of a narrower um, plate instead of a full half plate. And that just gives you a little maybe more room on the page. I'll show you a little bit more when we get further into actually putting the page together. So you can see here, I've got this, got my jumbo circle lined up on my mat. I've got my five by 12 inch piece of paper lined up here at the top and on the edge. So what I'm gonna do to place my binder clips I'm gonna go ahead and place those right where the paper meets the, the circle, right at that edge of my paper. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Now the key here for this is I want you to make sure that you don't move your template. You've gotta keep that template in place the entire time. It's gotta stay in the same spot. We're gonna make three cuts. The first cut we're gonna make is with our or, or the green blade. So I'm gonna put it in my track and I'm gonna slide it back here and I'm gonna rotate it so that I have the flat edge of the hexagon against the flat edge of the binder clip. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim all the way around over to the other side. And once again, I'm gonna make sure that, I'm gonna rotate my, um, the cutting blade until I have that flat edge against the binder again. So I get all the way from edge to edge. Now I'll grab my red blade and I'll do the same thing with the red blade. Now remember, you always wanna start with either the blue or the green blade if you're cutting on the inside track, the one that's furthest away from the track. So now I've got, I did my green blade first, I did my red blade, so now I'm done with my inside track. I can go ahead and remove my binder clips. I'm still holding my template in place. I'm gonna grab my red blade again, and I'm gonna come on the outside edge, the outside track, and trim all the way around to release my half circle. So here you can see I've released my circle. And so now I have this lovely arc piece. And I'm gonna show you how I handle the edges where it needs to be trimmed off. You can probably just grab a pair of scissors and come in here and trim those. But what I found that I like to do for this type of thing is I'm actually gonna bend it back and give it a, a, a push down there and a push there. And I'm gonna use some scissors. I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna snip off 
the edge, leaving a little bit of a tail. And then I will grab my adhesive on the back side, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to put that tail down. I'm using cardstock, so you won't notice this bump at all with the cardstock for sure. And what that allows me to get is a really nice clean edge there. If I were to use scissors, it would not maybe look as clean. So you can do whatever option you like. I just happen to use the, uh, the fold back technique so it's nice and even. So here you can see I've got a half dinner plate. And that works as a nice little side border for this layout. So I went ahead and I got this circle design paper from Staycation. And I put my half plate over here. And this is a nice spot. Um, you could just leave this as such and do your whole border here if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and I've punched with navy the dine border punch. Put here at the bottom. And then I've gone ahead and I've got the zigzag, the colorful rainbow striped zigzag from the sticker pack. I've used some foam dots here to kind of pop it off the page and give it some dimension. And then I would just repeat that at the top with the, the foam dots there on that top stripe. So now I've got this great spot. I could go ahead and start putting photos. I think in the layout I show you, I do have a little bit of space over here. You could do some journaling, um, you know, journal on the plate. You could do little photos maybe of if you have pictures of food that you've taken or something like that that you want to show. So there's lots of options there. So now let's go real quick. We're going to talk about how to make the full dinner plate. So we'll move this to the side. And for this, the full dinner plate, you're obviously going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So we've got our 12 by 12 centered on there. We'll grab our jumbo circle and we'll go ahead and place it back on there, lining it up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to center it. And now for the binder clips on this one, I've got my center points marked or, or my, my 90 degree increments marked. So I have marks that are 180 degrees across from each other. So they're right across from each other on the template. I'm going to grab my binder clip and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to secure it right at the 90 degree mark, which is right at that six inch mark on the template or on my mat. And I'm going to come here at the bottom and I'm going to do the same piece. So what, if this is really easy. I'm going to show you real quick. The binder clip actually has kind of three prongs here. This center prong right there, I'm actually putting right on top of the dot that's down here. So that way I know everything is lined up nice and even from each other. Now I'm just going to repeat the same cuts that I did on my half plate, but I'm going to repeat them on the whole plate. So I'll do on each side of the binder clip. So I'll start with green, line up here in the track, and I'll go ahead and trim on both sides. And then I'll grab my red blade and make the same set of cuts. It's not quite as um, fluid as making the cuts that we're used to, which is making a circle. And I did move my template a little bit, so it should be okay. And now what I can do is I'm going to go ahead and remove my binder clips. I found I was not able to make my um, complete outside circle with my binder clips on. So I removed the binder clips and now I can just go to the outside track with that red blade and go ahead and cut all the way around. So now I'll have a full plate here and I'm going to do the same technique where I'm just going to I don't know why exactly I had to flip it over. It's cardstock on the same side. We can see I'm just going to fold these pieces back and go ahead and trim. A little bit of adhesive will keep those tails down. And then I am all set to put together a full plate page, which is kind of, you know, you could do a lot of the same um, 
photo placements that we've used before in various ways that we've used the jumbo circle as a element on the page. I'm gonna just mimic some of the same design choices I showed before to basically show you you can really do a lot with just some simple, you know, a border punch and some stickers. So you can see there we've got this going. We might go ahead and we'd put on a couple of, I have some four by six navy mats that I've cut just with kind of, you know, mimic what photos might look like. There's a really fun hexagon journal box that is in the um, embellishments. And then maybe over here, I would grab the family dinner sticker and you can see how the page starts to take shape. So that's kind of fun. It just gives you that nice, um, simple, looks like a, you know, a white dinner plate and it works great. It mimics the, the same design element down here in the dine border punch. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you could do here is of course you could cut your full plate in half. So I'm going to do that now and show what that would look like. So I've got my uh, full plate. I'm going to grab my 12 inch trimmer and for cutting the big circle like this in half, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and let my circle kind of rest in this um, niche right here at the bottom, the, the section where this cuts out to allow that arm to come all the way flush to the, the um, cutting bed actually provides a nice guide here to center. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and just kind of center it in here and then just how it happened to work is these spots are about one inch from the trimming, um, the center here. So you have about two inches total, an inch on either side of center. So what I've done is I'm actually going to go ahead and line up this edge here with this one inch edge coming from the top. And I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And that's just going to make sure that I am one inch over here, one inch over here, I'm calling that good enough. Maybe it's not perfectly centered. As you can see, there's the one inch here at the top coming down. I'm gonna say it's good enough and I'm gonna go ahead and trim. So now I have two half plates. But for comparison's sake, let me show you the difference between the first half plate we made, which was actually a little bit less than a half plate you can see when I cut a half plate from a hole, I stick out really far in here. So what I was able to do is since I started with that five inch piece, I'm coming back almost an inch, which just gives you, it still gives you that nice plate effect, but I've got a lot more space in here to work with for photos. So that's why if you're doing a single page and you just want that half plate, go ahead, start with that five inch piece and you know, show do it how I showed you and you'll have you know a nice statement without it being overwhelming. But for the full dinner plate, if you wanna cut it in half, you would have the options now in the um, directions I show is using, you know, if you had two pieces of these really fun, page here and I'm going to have to back my camera up. I realize I'm maybe a little too close in to show you a full page layout or double layout. You could go ahead and grab your two whole pieces to make sure I've grabbed my two whole pieces here and they could go on either side of center. You could also have them be to the outside. Um, if you do the outside ones, you could probably get away with doing two of the five inch um, half plates because um, I think when you have two five inch plates here in the middle, it starts to look, I have two five inch pieces here. I've got a lot of extra plates hanging around. You'll see that um, when you look at it together, you can kind of see how you don't have that roundness going because remember we cut off basically an inch on each side in the middle. So if you do this middle, if you're hugging the middle of the, the spread, you're going to want to go ahead and do that full plate that you cut in half. So you get that nice rounded finished circle um, effect in the middle. If you're doing two outside ones, you could probably get away with doing the half plate that's made from the five inch segment so that you don't come quite as far in to the center of your outside plates there. See, 
So some flexibility there. I do recommend the full plate if you're going to go into the middle. And then of course you could come in with your various elements to start with your borders at the bottom, use the stickers, place some photos. I give a layout um, sample in the directions with some, you know, generic photo placements there. I see lots of possibilities for this. I am planning to dig through my stash to see what I have. I think this would be a fun picnic layout. Get that plate in maybe some um, different colors. I'm thinking like maybe a bright, bright blue or red. You could do a 4th of July layout using um, showing the picnic. The I'm really excited about the binder clips with the custom cutting system. I will be kind of exploring some more ways that we can use those. So if you haven't gotten binder clips yet, go ahead, um, pick up a few. Maybe if you're attending a crop with someone, you can just you know hand them out as little things to everybody you know. There'll be fun ways we'll explore to use the binder clips with the custom cutting system. So thanks for watching. If you make the layout, please share in the group. I would love to see it. Thanks.